somebody like Erin Birch the kinds of posts that she does is it's attraction marketing she's using attraction marketing you know so is Russell Brunson right it's all about hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about something a little bit more basic what do you need to do to use attraction marketing on Facebook we're gonna go specifically on Facebook of course you can use it on other platforms but we're gonna talk about the basics of attraction marketing and how you actually use it on a platform like Facebook so we're gonna get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets you know if you're on social media if you're on Facebook you need to be using attraction marketing yeah I'm sure you've heard from tons of people about it and you're probably doing lots of the things that you should be doing and maybe you're doing it right but we're going to talk about kind of the basics of it what are we talking about when we talk about attraction marketing and how do you use it to the best possible way all right so we're going to get into that but before I do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis507 dot j-s-g-a-g-n-o-n dot com because I'll be sharing my screen and showing you a lot more about this that you can not necessarily get from just the audio all right so that being said let's get to sharing the screen oops I, I forgot to uh, load up my browser here let's share up the screen all right let's go uh, share the screen and let's talk about attraction marketing all right so let's first let's talk about what is attraction marketing now before we do that let's talk about maybe myself a little bit so you kind of have a clue that I kind of know what I'm talking about so I've been doing online marketing since 2015 and I use Facebook LinkedIn Instagram TikTok I use all the platforms and I post and I'm, you know I'm I'm still you know we all learn always learning but you know I've got like you know 15,000 connections on LinkedIn I got 12,000 followers on Twitter um 4,000 plus friends I have a Facebook page that's that's relatively new and I don't really you know promote it so it's got just a few hundred uh followers I got a YouTube channel that I'm not promoting either but I use it to upload videos and stuff that's got about two, what is it 200 uh fan subscribers I'm not sure but I've been doing attraction marketing I do blogging my main thing that I do is course income secrets which is basically all about what do you need to do online to generate income from from digital courses which you know includes marketing includes Facebook includes attraction marketing includes all those things those are all important right you need to you need to know what like when I look through Facebook when you look through Facebook right I'm I'm somebody who follows a lot of online marketers and uh, leaders that do online marketing so what I see mostly in my news feed is posts from those people right and that's just basically how Facebook works and <laughs> like Ray Higdon right here is one of my uh fan my top uh marketers that I follow so is Russell Brunson and um so is uh well I guess this is Min Minkanesh right she's Minkanesh-shi. she's um, an uh, advertisement expert on Facebook so I see her stuff a lot because I post some stuff this is kind of cool but this is more about my interest right so this is the solar eclipse that just happened last week but the point is that there is going to be stuff on your news feed that's related to the kinds of stuff you're interested in but if you want to see if you look at like leaders right if you look at somebody like Erin Birch the kinds of posts that she does is it's attraction marketing she's using attraction marketing you know so is Russell Brunson right it's all about posting content that his audience is interested in right that's attraction marketing same with Tony Robbins I mean he's posting stuff well him and his team because you know he's got millions of followers right how many of, he's got six million followers right so he's uh, I don't know what's it's not loading oh there you go so I mean he's got a team doing this stuff same thing with Eric Quarry I don't think I so Ray Higdon is the one I just mentioned a second ago right um 
and Brian Finale he does he's an online marketer as well so I mean these people they use attraction marketing you might be thinking okay what is yeah I mean you probably have a clue of what it is right but let's just kind of clarify exactly what that is let me just open up a notepad here so you might be thinking too the title that I've got for this episode right how to do attraction marketing on Facebook one of the reasons why I took that title that that title is because of what's called SEO so whenever you're you're thinking of a title for a blog post and you know not to an extent Facebook posts and things like that too like the title on the video that you're posting on Facebook that kind of stuff sometimes you have to consider the title based on what people might search for right and that's called SEO search engine optimization now I'm no definitely no expert on that but I've I've learned lots of different things and one of the things I've learned is that lots of times people search for how to something right how to do something how to uh, get better how to lose weight how to you know people search for that right and I also know that some people are like well you know they how to do attraction marketing would be a logical thing and you know we could I could show you how to find those uh, whatever but that's what that's why that title is like that how to do attraction marketing right sounds kind of a little bit silly because you might be thinking okay well what is attraction marketing right that would be the first thing that you're going to want to figure out is what is attraction marketing right but before we even well actually yeah that would be the first thing so what is attraction marketing right you want to know what it is and attraction marketing is all about using advertisement principles or I should say exposure principles to get people to notice you and then eventually buy from you right obviously so get people to notice you and buy from you so that's really what it is it's all about getting people to notice you and buying from you right because you have a product or buy you know or or get join your membership or join your team or or you know get your get your subscription on some site or you know whatever it is right you want people to be attracted to you when so the idea is okay how so how do you use attraction marketing marketing on Facebook so how do you actually use that right so on Facebook it's pretty straightforward right so you got to post you've got to um, you know engage and you got to connect right I mean really that's what the essence of it is now how do you do all that and make it work is the biggest thing right so let's say two and three let's that I mean those are really the three things that's all you got to do and that's what leaders teach you right they tell you just go ahead and start posting whatever but before you do that you kind of have to lay the foundation the groundwork without us without a foundation everything crumbles right buildings crumble relationships crumble businesses crumble the, the foundation is what makes things stand tall and stand the test of time right so you have to have that foundation if you don't if you don't have a foundation and you just start doing this you're going to get some results but you're going to be all over the place and you're going to keep changing things all the time because you're not going to be clear as to what direction you're going and what you're trying to accomplish right so I mean really basically that's the secret right you have to be focusing on the on what you build as a foundation okay so what is the required foundation right so you need you need a foundation so what's the foundation when you're trying to use attraction marketing we're trying to do attraction marketing on Facebook right so what is the required foundation so number one you got to know your offer okay you got to know your offer now I have other things that I talk about what is an offer how to how to put it together and all that all that good stuff I might I can I don't know if I can find it and put a link here me but anyways it'll be in the blog post so go check the blog post like I said <coughs> like to be able to find it there but knowing your offer is not about knowing what product you sell so let's just put that here right not your product or service well I mean I don't need to say that right not your product or service or or membership or business you're in or whatever it's that's not what your offer is okay your your offer is 
what will they get out of what they buy from you right what are the results you're going to get what are the feelings you're going to get how are they going to be better than they were before that's your offer you got to know your offer right and then number two which is like just as important is know your avatar now when we say know your avatar we're talking about your target market your <coughs> your your um uh what's the other word they use for that your target market your audience right who is it that you're trying to speak to what is their what are the things they like to do what are their you know um uh, hobbies do they have family are they married where they live what part of the world are they in all these things uh, determine the kinds of posts right the posts you post should be based on knowing your avatar and knowing your offer you don't post about <coughs> I mean there's other sorry there's different kinds of posts right there's a post that have to do with your life so family life anyways I'm, I'm, that's uh, okay so I guess let's I'll get to that in a second but you got to know your avatar because that'll affect <coughs> the kinds of posts you're going to post the kind of language you're going to use in the posts uh and also the kind of um well I guess really that's really the the extent of it right it's going to affect the kinds of posts or the content in your post including the images videos and text right so that knowing your avatar is going to be super important now you know even before knowing your offer knowing your avatar let's put these as number two and three instead right because number one is really more about knowing your vision right so know your vision goal uh uh why right know your your vision your goal your why right now, obviously there's different uh schools of thoughts on whether with whether it's more important to know your vision your what set goals uh, know what your why is or all those things are important and just as a kind of like a summary of it right the why is why you're doing it right so are you doing it because you want to quit your job are you doing it because you want to spend time with your family are you doing it because you want to have a big number in your bank account are you doing it because you want to be able to go travel the world like what is it that you're going to be able to do that you can't do now that really kind of motivates you right that's your why right <clears throat> and then your vision is what's it going to look like when you're there like what is your ideal day right uh, you are you sitting on a beach are you in a in a in a in a forest in a log cabin are you driving a car uh, you know do you have five cars in your garage like what is it that your vision is like you know you're are you happy on the beach with your wife <clears throat> are you traveling the world with your kids are you doing homeschooling so you can travel the world like what is your vision right your vision and of course the goal is more of a <clears throat> well how can I put it it's, it's more of a thing you can write to paper right obviously all these things you can write to paper but you got to see them you got to feel them whereas your goal is more of a you know on this date I'll I'll have this and it's basically kind of having your goal which lets you create a plan so that's why number one is really that because without a goal without a plan without a without a well first of all without a plan you're you're gonna have trouble going where you want to go right so and to have a plan uh to build a plan <clears throat> right so to build a plan so without a plan you're not gonna know where you're going and how you're getting there right and if you uh if you whoops I gotta if you don't have your uh your why and your vision well you won't be able to you know put together a goal because you won't know where you're trying to go right so you need all that to kind of get to build a plan so you can follow the plan and go forward right and then when you're trying to do attraction marketing you got to know your offer you got to know your avatar right so those are the things that are super critical to do as a foundation right that's really your foundation for attraction marketing is really that's that's the foundation for attraction marketing super important to have that laid out as much as you can in detail like I said I have I have an ebook that will give you avatar I think it's uh, avatar uh, .js, .com. 
um, let me see if I can find it for sure let's try it out avatar it might need I might need to update the link avatar jsgagnon.com that will take you to this avatar ebook I have hopefully it will go to the right place uh yep that's right oh 402 error oh I guess I gotta <laughs> I'm on a different site so I gotta move it to a different site that's funny um I've got to go to the right to the right domain and all that I do have it I'll have that work when you uh, go to it but yeah so it's avatar.jsgainer.com you're going to be able to get that avatar ebook let's actually show you where that what that what that looks like <clears throat> so if you go to my blog post uh actually I don't oh I don't have it in here okay well let's look for other let's search for avatar because I know I did a few blog posts about it and I would define your avatar I believe in that episode I have the link to it oh I guess not anyways I'll find it it'll be it's either on here like this one here is attraction marketing secrets this one here is top 10 simple online strategies and then 12 critical steps on unknown success those are three of the ebooks I've written before but I also have an avatar ebook and um and let's see can I see oh, I'm gonna find it it's a more new it's a more more recent ebook a more recent episode <coughs> okay avatar maybe this is the one oh maybe this is the one this is the more recent one is there a link in here yes there it is top 10 questions to I wonder if this goes to the right place or it still goes to the bad one yeah it still goes to the bad link but that'll be fixed and I guess you can go to this you can search for that on my on my blog post on my blog and you can find that but so okay so that's good now we have the avatar that's the avatar knowing your offer I do I don't think I ever did an ebook but I do have an episode on it so maybe we'll have a link for that too but those, that's the foundation so if you want to use attraction marketing you kind of have to set that up now you can start doing attraction marketing posting engaging and connecting before even having a foundation but the foundation will definitely make a big difference because you're going to have the results based on your proper audience targeting your proper content targeting all that good stuff right okay so now what are the activities or prep let's talk about preparation the preparation you need on Facebook right so you need you need to prepare certain things right so to prepare certain things <coughs> so you'll need to set up your uh, account you'll need to have a proper profile picture things like that so you can uh, so so let's just say set up set up your account right so set up your account which so proper profile picture uh, and I'll get to that in a second what that what that means so proper cover photo and uh, bio proper bio and interest and um, I guess uh, what's what what is it called it's called like if I go to my page here go to my own page you see I got a cover photo here with my two daughters so that kind of lets people know that I'm a, I'm in the, I have a family right then we have two cats and then they and then you look down here there's uh there's some um these are story so you kind of have to have like photos and 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 bio kind of like a little bio right and then some history of your maybe your job that's not super critical but it kind of lets people know what kind of person you are and that's basically it right I mean obviously you can have reels photos videos and all that good stuff that comes over time right but in the very beginning you've got to make sure you got a proper profile picture you got a proper cover photo that so that the kind of and then you have to have the right bio and set up your um uh, featured photos right so there's ways to do that but though but if you want you can come to uh I think it's ppc is it hopefully that one works because my maybe I haven't fixed that link either because you know yeah same thing so I got to fix that too 
so basically that's going to be in ppc so get get the uh profile profits sheet sheet now I didn't I did not cheat sheet at ppc.jsguyno.com now I did not create this ebook but this one is also for, if I go back to my my blog that one is also something that will really really help I don't know if I have it I'd, I'd have to go through and find where I talked about it right but I mean these are some of the posts I might be able to find it under uh under here for you right but anyways it, it's fine it's going to be in one of these um I have an ebook I have a, a funnel for it and all that good stuff I just got updated to the new the new site I'm using right now um but uh I, well, actually let's go here quick course is one of the other sites I created I think I might have it in here courses uh, let's actually open this in a incognito because I might have private courses I don't want to share right um okay so let's look for profile no it's not in here it's not on here I didn't upload it here okay so I'll like I said I'll find it for you where where it goes and what it is but basically that particular ebook is really really going to help with all of this it's going to kind of give you examples of what's a good profile picture what's a good prof what's your bio set up your uh, featured photos all those kinds of good stuff and it really really helps so but that's the preparation right so then what is daily actions on Facebook right so what is what are the what are the daily actions I guess that should be are the daily actions on Facebook right um okay so uh, those ones let me see hold on there let me get something here okay so the daily action that you need to be taking is this stuff right here right so posting engaging and connecting now how you take that action it's really up to you 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 could set up a schedule for your posting you could um just you know randomly post every couple days you could um you could use tools that automatically post for you things like that but that's not highly recommended um but that's basically you got to be posting right so number one post relevant post relevant content right so that your avatar will be interested in now this is super critical that you have to be posting content that your avatar is going to be interested in because just posting on Facebook doesn't do anything unless it's targeted to the right people I mean sure it'll yeah people will see it maybe right there's other things to consider too there's the Facebook algorithm and all that good stuff that we can get into a little bit but mainly you got to be posting relevant 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 content right so number two you got to be engaging on other people's posts right so preferably preferably your target market now how do you do that right how do you engage on other people's posts that are your target market well you're gonna have to go and find people that are in your target market by going to groups by going to pages by looking like say for example I go to to Russell Brunts uh, Tony Robbins or Russell Brunson's right if I go to his profile I can look at this he's got 70 comments right here I can just look at these comments and I can maybe connect with these people now I'm not suggesting you do that because there's reasons why that wouldn't work too good uh but that's one way you can at least go to their page and go find out whether they're you know what kinds of posts they're posting and if they're like if I go to this person's page right now right um this guy here is the blind phone master training motivation okay so this guy is actually posting content on his page right so because he's posting content on his page you are free to comment on his stuff now you could send him a message 
and and connect and all that good stuff that's definitely something that's that's taught by lots of leaders I personally say wait before you do that that's I use something called the reverse social prospecting formula that you can look up on my blog as well but that is about commenting on posts like I can comment on this post here right um and I can you know react to his post and that way I'm going to be in his notifications he's going to start to see now the thing is that if I never go back to this person's profile after you know a year if I go back after a year they're not going to remember me at all but the and the thing is the secret about a, a tr attraction marketing is that you've got to be doing it consistently now and if I go back to my notepad here so engage on other people's posts. so you got to be doing that and I'm going to get a little bit more into how to make it more effective right but you still have to be doing that you got to be replying to other people's comments on your posts all right so you got to be doing that those are things that you have to be doing if you're not doing these things there's lots of mm, things that won't happen for you like if you're not if you're not if you're not engaging on other people's posts Facebook won't even show your post to the other people that's just part of the algorithm they they give you what you do if you engage on other people's posts then Facebook is going to be like oh this person is as is an an engager let's share their stuff on the news feed so he they get reactions to their post right that's kind of how it works so that's why if you don't do these things and you post every day on Facebook you might get no engagement on your post right so you kind of have to be doing that now there's a difference like leaders like Tony Robbins right he doesn't need to go and engage on other people's stuff he's going to get thousands of comments hundreds hundreds of comments on all this stuff look 1.4 uh, 1 1 1,400 1, comments on his happy Easter post right he's gotten 1,200 comments on this one I mean it's like insane he doesn't need to do the Facebook algorithm thing and people actually go to his page regularly to go engage on the stuff that's on there I mean I do that for Russell Brenton's page I go to his page all the time to just comment on the stuff so I I stay a top fan but uh but that's just you know vanity stuff right but in the beginning to use attraction marketing you've got to be commenting on people's stuff on other people's stuff and you got to find them in in your um in there you got to find them in groups you got to find them on pages you got to be commenting and engaging on other people's stuff people that are in your target market now if you don't go to specific people's profiles and you just use the news feed you're going to be basically engaging on what Facebook thinks you're interested in and as you you know navigate that process you're going to get more and more in tune because Facebook is going to be you're going to be engaging on stuff that makes sense to you like you know but you've got to be kind of careful to not engage on stuff you're not interested in just to engage right because if you do engage on stuff you're not interested in you're going to see more of it Facebook is going to show you more of it it's a lot better to go straight to their profile instead of using a news feed because you're in control of who you're engaging with right but you still have to be doing these things <coughs> that's what attraction marketing is now after you've done this off enough specific people will start to be interested in what you have to offer because they're going to start to know like and trust you that's what a attraction marketing is all about they have to you know get people to notice you and buy from you so how do you get them to notice you and buy from you right how do you get let's put that as the next thing how to get people to notice you and buy from you right so that's really what we all want I mean more or less right we all want to make the you're building a business online because you want to get sales you want to get you want to get customers right but how do you get them to notice you and buy from you well post often enough like whoops like three two f let's say let's say it doesn't matter it could be once a month once a week let's just say one two seven times a week now the amount the number of posts you do will depend on lots of different things but the idea is to be consistent so if you do one post a week do one post a week if you do seven posts and one post a day do one post a day <coughs> you can do four or five posts a day if you want but if you do less than that 
you might have I mean Facebook is still going to share your stuff if you're really engaged on other people's stuff and you're going to get more comments on your post if you post only once a month for example but it's still better to um, to post more than once you know once a week is probably the least I would say so then you have to um visit so comment on their posts on other people's posts other people's posts enough so they start whoops they start to like you whoops that's behind my webcam is it let's move it up so post com po comment on other people's posts enough so that they start to like you so how do, how do you do that right I mean what you're gonna go and find the people that you're really interested in and like I like I said Russell Brunson I comment on stuff I go to his page almost every day to comment on whatever post he's posted since the last time I was there so you could do that but the thing is that you can't do that with a lot a lot of people you can do it just for the few because you do it from memory right but there's a way to get uh that done in an automated automated way but not not by automating the process but but by giving you a list people's is that right p people in my mind i'm anyways it looks like it's not the right spelling i'm not sure <laughs> um okay so uh number three is you have to be um well that's that's really it so then as as time goes on oh right so you go back to same people oh that's why no that's right see same people every uh week right I use I use six days so basically you I have a list of who I engage with and then I go back to them every six days so that they keep seeing me all the time and they get to a point where they know like and trust you right so and because really they must they must first trust you to buy from you so you know they're not going to buy from you unless they trust you now that's attraction marketing attraction marketing is they see your stuff they start to know you then they like you because you're posting stuff that they like and you're commenting on their stuff and you're you know you're somebody who's doing what they want so they like you and then after they like you they trust you right that's that's just how it works that's just how the human break brain works now how do you keep track of this of all all this activity right so now that's that's really the that's really the most important thing if you're commenting on stuff and you're doing this and you're not even tracking it you'll not never know if somebody's you know close to knowing liking and trusting you and you know maybe you have a conversation with people after you've engaged with them enough right maybe you have a just you you send them a message and <laughs> and they're not going to ignore you which is what happens when you try to contact people at the beginning right so you use so be, you know obviously this is kind of a, a what's a, a plug right for software that I have but it really really makes a big difference software I created it's called a uh, use active group users software right so active group user software will give you the list of people that are in your target market now if I go here I can show you kind of what it looks like basically it's a software that you install in Chrome it's called the Chrome extension and that gives you a list of people that you give it the list of groups that you want to to find your where your target market people are right the people that are most likely to be interested in whatever you have to sell you find your target market me I'm in affiliate marketing I'm selling this software so that's kind of why I have affiliate marketing in here groups um attraction marketing that kind of stuff and then what happens is if you um run it every day it'll give you a list of people that are in those groups people that are actually active in those group people that are actually commenting and post posting in those groups and it gives you a list of those people and then you can go straight to their profile by using the list that the software gives you you don't have to uh you don't have to uh 
um what am i trying to say here you don't have to just use facebook you can actually use this list here and you can go visit them right so right here you can see how many days ago i visited them but the point of that is this is attraction marketing at its finest because you're in control of what who sees you and who is commenting on your stuff who is engaging on your stuff uh, because you're you know you're commenting on their stuff so they're seeing your face they're seeing your profile picture they're probably going to your profile and see what you're about all that is part of attraction marketing without that I mean you it'll work over time if you don't use software like this you just do it manually by using the newsfeed like leaders tell you it'll still work it'll take a lot longer because you're not going to be going back you're not going to be uh go you're not going to be going back to the same people necessarily you're going to be you know commenting on stuff that Facebook gives you right so that's you know um go to active group users Dot com it's basically activegroupusers.com right activegroupusers.com so that's going to give you uh, information about the software how to install it all that good stuff which is basically this website but I'm logged in so I would go to about page this is where it'll take you if you log if you're not if you don't have an account it'll kind of gives you an, uh, an idea of how to use it there's a little video here that kind of gives you an explanation of how to use the software you can get a free trial too by clicking on this but just creating an account you get a free account and there was a free trial that you know you just have to put your email in and you get more out of it by going to this uh but yeah so that's how you do attraction marketing on Facebook hopefully that explained lots for you and if you have any more if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.